And like that works really well with Fox yeah. because of his short range. Like if you know how to play against a Fox in doubles, it's really hard to get in sometimes. But with Mars aggro wall, that allows openings yeah. against against the other team. And I feel there's like some characters that are just a thing that Mars struggles with though is is uh, saving his teammate and like unfortunately pretty much all the other characters besides Fox need a lot of saving. Yeah. So if you really think about it like ice climbers especially since Ooh, they they literally was... like if they get shine spike below the stage they literally can't recover they just actually can't unless like by a miracle nana is synced up with popo and they can squall hammer i like what green team's going for here they already they've already decided to 1v1 in the way that smokey's fighting nino yeah so the Fox because the as climbers. we know eric is uh smokey is a uh, like very very well versed in the ice climbers match yeah. with fox He's hasn't lost to an ice climbers in like since he played Nintendo. Yeah, and, and he almost like, won that set. He almost won that set with a broken controller. with a broken controller, and that was what like two years ago. Yeah, that was two years ago. So you know, Smokey very very good against ice climbers with Fox, as he should be. That matchup is, uh, I would say, pretty fairly in Fox's favor. Ice climbers have some things, but I think in doubles, ice climbers' strength is uh, their damage output. Yeah, they can output a lot of damage with their smash attacks. And they can get like a lot of. They're they're very quick on the ground with their wave dashes. Yeah, and another thing, if uh, if you have the potential to do it, which I think this team does, because you know Mars combo game on like fast fallers, mm -hmm. <coughs> and his ability to keep people off the ground and juggle them, wobbling is very strong with ice climbers and doubles, especially when like. It's a, it's like a one v one scenario on both sides, and the other player has like them off stage or like them in a chain grab, which uh, I'm expecting to see if Nino and uh, Dimension Sword get on like FD or something. Mm -hmm. Dimension Sword will chain grab, and Nino will try to look for a wobble. Yeah. But I think an unfortunate thing about Nino's wobble is that he uses down tilt, and that's slower. So the thing about the wobble is like it's good and all, but like you kind of have to get that kill fast because. Because, yeah. Your opponent won't be able to hold them forever. Yeah. Hold them off forever. So, like, the F tilt wobble, I think, is more optimal in doubles because it does more damage. So, you can get the kill faster. But uh, as we were saying this, yeah, I didn't blue, really realize yeah, Blue Team blue, blue actually has a very healthy lead, actually. Especially with the damage they're accumulating on Brock. Ice Climbers, man, they. They do a lot of damage when they're together. Double down smash, about 20%. Crazy strong. It's crazy. And Dimension Sword's not going for any kind of uh, lengthy strings. He's going for like up throw, tip or F smash. He's just he's just focusing on getting oh, wow. the yeah. character off stage and abusing the fact that it's very hard to recover against Marth off stage. Because you know, one read, one miss, one tiny miss spacing, and you get down tilted, down aired, or tipper F smashed off stage, and you're pretty much dead. Oh, I like that forward throw because uh, it actually pulls Popo back, so it's he, a very low chance of like you him know getting tippered as well. Mm -hmm. right. Poor stop. Yeah. The, I, these I guys are like their second seed, I think. Oh, you know Dimension? Or no, no. Um, American Brian. American Brian, I believe. I, I did. I would not have seen this coming. I think they did a really good job. Of in the very beginning, they were they were looking pretty dominant. Yeah, they they were good at forcing them to not one v one. Oh, Brian brings out his own ice climbers. This is going to be very interesting. Stadium, Fox is going to love this stage. He's going to get a lot of pickup smash kills. I think if we really think about it, like uh, you know, it makes sense that Brian goes for the switch because Sheik ice climbers is not that favorable oh, in yeah. matchup. And Bri Bri I don't think Brian likes that matchup. And Brian definitely feels more comfortable in Ice Climbers. Yeah, especially against the Marth. And this is looking a Very lot different. better right Very now. Very different. But this is how the first game kind of looked, to be honest. Yeah. Not so not so uh, dominant in the beginning, but like around the same around the same mark. I'm liking these fairs that yeah. Dimension is doing. He's doing Brian's a lot of preemptive fairs. Brian's trying to figure out how to get around them. So. Oh my god. See that double back air? Did, like, how much percentage was that? It was at least like... 20. And Nino's already lost two stocks. Yeah, that's very bad. Losing two stocks and uh -oh. doubles. 
before a minute passes is very, very bad. Nana decides to just, or Brog's Nana just decides to die there. Dimension's how looking the stock tank here. I mean, they're really only a stop down, which is a lot better than they could be. But I feel like on a stage, like, uh, sta ooh. A lot of damage racking up by Smokey on Pseudo Infinite on the track. That was a good ice block to break up that, that infinite there. Eric kills Popo, or Nana, excuse me, for really... I guess he wanted to kill Dimension there, but Dimension just sort of made it back. Yeah, Brian's really... That's like All the right. second time N where... Nino's got to wobble. Brian's got to break it up. He lets it go early, though, because he knows that Brian is on his way. Yeah. That's a dead... That's a dead box. So this is pretty much tied up. But uh, Brian and uh, Nino are having down smash wars. Ooh, that it's was Hipper's an ill-advised forward smash. Sometimes that can happen. Some pe their, your teammate underestimates the Marth range and just runs into yeah. it just slightly. Nice crowd chance about Brian, but he doesn't exactly get. Oh, I'm liking what Dimension's doing. Look how he's keeping. Uh, He's abusing the fact that he's Popo, so he's like taking advantage of the poor ledge options that Popo has, yeah. which allows Nino to set up some handoffs and into a smash attack. And just like that, blue team has the lead. I yeah. mean, it's not a big lead, but as long as Dimension... Oh, never mind. Oh. I was about to say, as long as Dimension can stay alive just a little longer. This is going to be very hard to do. Usually, we call this a 2v... 2v1, this is definitely a 3v1. <laughs> yeah. You just got two Ice Climber Hammers just going at you. I think they're being too aggressive here. Yeah, they're definitely being way and too they, aggressive. And they just lost Nana for it. I don't know I don't know if it's going to matter, but... I mean, damage doesn't really matter at this point, but, like, having the potential to wobble to secure the 2v1 yeah. win is definitely nice. I'm liking the fact that Brian's going in because Fox is fast enough to... He jumped. Oh, I thought he used to jump. There. I feel like he gave Dimension a little too much space there. He needs to be able to like as soon as the down throw ends, he needs to be on top. Of I mean, I've noticed this this whole set. Dimension's doing a really good job of just keeping Green Team out of off of his range. He's fishing. That's not but that, good. Yeah, that was. That won't combo. Okay, that's it. No, he misses it. He misses. This could be bad. <laughs> uh. Sure. Backwards kick. Oh no, he tries to. I think he read that someone's gonna grab the ledge, but um, he missed the air dodge. Yeah, on stage. he missed the air dodge on stage. One one. Where do you think Ice Climber's Marth goes? FD? I'm guessing a big stage. FD. FD? Yeah. Chain grab potential and wobble. Yeah. I know it's Ice Climber. Ice Climbers love that stage against Fox. Fox. And you get the Fox chain. Yeah, FD. I'm surprised they didn't. Ban it, but I guess it helps both teams equally, kind yeah. of. Yeah. I would say so. Ice climbers definitely take Mark to this stage as well. Yeah. I want to see Dimension get a little more aggressive when uh, Smoky Firefox is that close to the stage. That should have definitely been like a full hot there punish. That was very close to the stage. Smokey's not looking exactly crispy on his Marth Firefox. What I kind of want to see here, actually, I want to see them just, like, knock Popo away, yeah. but not really have an intention to kill him. Because he is rather useless. His damage output isn't that, isn't that Ooh, great right now. That was a nice confirm. Killing Nino dies first, even though they gotta Ryan's kill been Popo, though. like, this whole, almost this whole game. He needs to help it. Yeah, yeah. I, he needs to help Nino. The Benjins just, He's just Popo. Yeah, like, Popo's going to float back really slowly. So Dimension should go over and help Nino with the Fox, rather than just wait for Popo to take 10 seconds to side be back and forth smashing again. Yeah, you know? very bad transitioning by uh, by Dimension Sword, I would say. I think that was meant to be back there. And Popo finally down. Nice. Oh, two down smashes. That was a really good down smash. Down smash for Ice Climber starting backwards instead of uh, forwards. So he had his back, back uh, face towards him. And it's probably stronger in the back than in forward. I don't really know if it changes I for us. I think it is. Is the, I, the angle might be different. Maybe it might be lower, I feel. Yeah. 
Brian's doing a good job of not interrupting Smokey's pressure. He, had, he, he Fox is capable of holding two people off on the ledge. And if Smokey is to get bumped out of the ledge, Brian can easily yeah, come, in come in and down wave, smash yeah, the landing. Smash. That's just like them teaming, or them knowing each other's play styles and knowing what each other's capable of. Also, and respecting the fact that uh, Smokey's playing Fox and he should probably leave like... He, like, he doesn't need to babysit Fox. Yeah. Fox is pretty... Ooh. Good grab into the wobble. Wow. Gets the kill. Wow. Very impressive defense by Brian. Immediate wave dash back after the kill confirm off the wobble. Nino tries to save his ice climber. This is still very doable. Ooh. They just need... Um, they, need a, they need to do something about, about Brian because he is doing a lot of work for the, the team. Nice. They need to kill this fox. They need to stop worrying about Popo. Yeah, they, they like to babysit Popo off stage too much, I think. Just let him do his little Popo thing. When he recovers po very slowly. Yeah. Just rack up damage That's on the fox. That's a lot of time to 2v1 the fox. Wow, I'm loving these fairs by Dimension. Brian keeps trying to do the, the typical wave dash towards approach, and it yeah. loses to rising fair and, and double fair. How should Brian go about beating the double fair? Do you think he needs to he needs to use he needs to use a desync uh, Blizzard approaches, but that's actually really bad in doubles because you don't want your uh, Nana encumbered mm -hmm. because you need her to output damage or yeah. potentially do a wobble. Yeah, it just takes too much time. Yeah, and all the frames that she's desync, she's not threatening either of those things. But oh no, he way dash in. That was the chance. They have a lead, but they're a very high percentage. And it's a popo. Yeah. Dimension needs to play aggressive. He needs to grab Smokey right now. That was a good aggressive forward smash. Spawn in, yes. Grab the ledge. Uh, he needs this edge guard. Ooh, that it. will do it. Nino. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Yeah, that's it. Nino and uh, Dimension Sword. Upset over Whoa. Brog and Smokey. Nah, that's it's pretty much it. Yeah, like, Popo it's, it's, it's is just... Popo. He's not even going to try. Wow. That was... Uh, Crazy. Yeah, I, I didn't see that coming. I guess Dimension did a really good job of staying out of pressure. A lot of those, like... And he also did a great job at zoning. Like, there was times where Brog could not get in at all, and Smoke, Smokey was just getting, like, super... Um, yeah. He was just getting racked up on damage.